Hi, my name is Michael Baba, and I'll be doing my oral report on my empirical research study. Dr. Rosen, a psychologist, believes that the amount of t uh, whether you use your smartphone on a daily basis uh, or not is a strong predictor of a psychological disorder. ICT is information or stands for Information and Communications Technology. ICT is an umbrella term that encompasses smartphones, tablets, and MP3 players that have access to the internet. ICT is true, or information and communications technology is truly a great thing. It is by far the most uh, highly advanced system in such a small package. But the question is whether individuals can regulate themselves while using this technology and accomplish their daily tasks, or whether the technology is too tempting for them. The study was done at RAC, and the study helped to yield some interesting results. This is the end of the first slide. Now, from the time we go to sleep to the time we wake up, we are exposed to ICT, especially in America. But other than the westernized culture, ICT is available all across the globe. ICT has no boundaries on any countries whatsoever. Now, ICT is truly a great thing and it is very very impressive technology. From the tip of your finger you can download a movie, you can you can uh, download music, you can call, talk to somebody from across the street or from or across the globe. All of these things are quite impressive especially when they're in such a compact piece of technology. But that may be the problem. With the unbelievable availability, its unbelievable utility, that can cause a lot of temptation in a lot of individuals, and that was the purpose of my study. To see whether individuals can regulate themselves, um, or to see whether students at RAC can regulate themselves, or whether um, ICT is too much of a temptation for them, and it impedes on their ability to accomplish daily tasks. The study was done at Reading Area Community College. In this study, um, I uh, in uh, the area included the Rack Cafeteria, the Rack Fitness Center, and also the classes I'm taking at Rack. This, uh, this study was done by pen and paper, and I, uh, the individuals were given a, a survey of eight questions. On the eighth question, it was an open-ended question. And the, the answers that I got from the res respondents helped to illuminate on a growing problem. This is the end of the second slide. The majority of the individuals interviewed, as you can see on the slide, actually believed that they actually had control on their uh, I ICT usage. Now, if you go to the second slide, the majority of the individuals interviewed were between 18 to 25, and also about 89% uh, uh, were also, um, they spent two or more hours uh, using technology like ICT. Now this is a little bit unnerving because in a report done uh, by Ulas Verta et al., they found that the biggest, uh, the biggest group, age group at risk for ICT addiction was indeed that age group, 18 to 25. And this made it extremely worse if they used it for more than two hours. Now, uh, if you go to my second slide, you can see that even though uh, the majority felt that they had a control on their ICT usage, a lot of them, uh, well, a nine out of the nineteen or nine out of the twenty-seven interviewed admitted they did have an addiction. Of these people that did have an addiction. Um, of these people that did have an addiction, the main thing, uh, their main uh, problem that helped them from being able to focus and from them being distracted from their daily tasks was indeed uh, texting, Facebook, or Twitter were their main results, or was their main, uh, main uh, inabilities to be able to, to function and do daily tasks. This is interesting because in a Swedish study done by Tomei et al., uh, they found that texting is a form of short messaging service, 
and high, high volumes of short messaging service are correlated in Tomei's study with uh, physiological and psychological issues such as depression and also uh, insomnia, both in men and women. Now, even and if you see on my next slide, even though the majority felt confident that they had a control of everything, uh, they had a control of their ICT usage, they knew, and 89% felt they knew one or more people who they felt overused the technology. Now, this helps to highlight multiple things. Um, a, a survey done by, or sorry, um, a study done by Olas Verta signified that uh, individuals who use technology for more than two hours a day are indeed at risk, and that these people, even though that they and people, and the people in my study, even though they admitted to using a smartphone, they felt that they had good, good. The majority felt that they had a good proper regulation on it, but it seems that these, the other individuals, um, in who the respondents who were surveyed, felt that they knew individuals who were in danger of this. Now, uh, Doctor, uh, Doctor Rosen believes that smartphone usage on a daily basis uh, is a strong predictor of a psychological disorder. But it seems that both my secondary research and my study as, as well has helped to highlight that it may not be using the technology alone. It may be just the time you spend on it that is the real problem, the true culprit. Uh, the gateway addiction and all of these things seem to only get to people when they spend too much time using uh, such products, such as ICT. So, if one is to main, be healthy and maintain uh, a strong balance between their daily tasks and such a great technology that um, information and communication technology devices do give us such great power and such great opportunity, then we should be just more vigilant on regulating ourselves and also being aware of what we're doing when we're using this technology. And that is my oral report.